All right, everybody, what's going on? It's not. Welcome back to episode two, entitled Ties That Bind Us, part two. So we're going to carry on with The Walking Dead, A New Frontier, from last night or yesterday's episode, probably on YouTube. It's not last night. It's probably a couple of days ago. But um, yeah, we're going to continue on from the last part and certainly been left with a lot of questions after that first part. Obviously, we've seen that... Clem is now on her own, and we see that, obviously, the unfortunate passing of Kenny, who was, um, I think, uh, a real favourite of the show and a real favourite of the channel, um, so to speak. So it really uh, is a shame to see Kenny be written off so early in this one. But, obviously, a lot of questions are still surrounding what's happened to Clem and why she has turned, like, so... Well, it's like cold against people. She was so warm to people in the previous episodes. And we also need to know what's actually happened to her, what her journey has been from that incident with Kenny, where Kenny's died, to getting to this point where, you know, what's happened to the baby? Has she found the baby, like, safe haven and decided to go off on her own to uh, better protect the baby? Well, who knows? But let's jump in to episode two, and hopefully some of our questions, if not all of them, will be answered. You're made of AI and stupid as shit. Death wish. You're not stupid. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like we're starting off back at uh, the house. This must be uh, after the incident Please, we saw let before. Me do the dishes. That's the least I can do. No, I'm crashing here. Crashers? Clean dishes. Your family. Besides, if they're not clean the right way, David becomes a big baby about it all. I'm a pro uh, at this point. All right. Go I have to be an expert relaxer. If only you weren't a degenerate gambler, too. Ouch. Damn, too soon. Now, I know you don't mind, but I, I won't be here for too long. Just, you know, gotta... Get back on my this feet. is probably after like the gambling You're incident right. where he got. Um, I don't mind. But David does. Like a lifetime ban or a twenty-five it? year ban was it Maybe something? I can't bit. remember how no, long actually, he was banned for. Forget now. I said that. Uh, that wasn't for me to. Just forget it. Sorry. He's always talking about how I'm never around, and then when I'm actually here, he acts like he doesn't know me. It's complicated, but look, he loves you. You're his brother. He's got an odd way of showing it. So where do you think you'll go? Don't know. With what happened, I'd be amazed if I could get a job assistant coaching T-ball. You'll land on your feet. Well, here's hoping. I could use a fresh start. Uh, I'll, I'll probably just travel around, you know, see what's out there. Want to take me with you? Well? Uh, well, what about David? <laughs> what about David? Kate. I know, I know. I'm just messing around. It's Are just you though? Hard to say no to a fresh start. Always wanted to go to Norway, see the Northern Lights. But you'll be jet setting, and <laughs> Death wish. I'll still just <laughs> be here. Oh, oh God damn it! Oh Ooh, shit! Quick, shit, run under water. Shit! Well, that was David's army glass. Oh, he's gonna be so pissy about it. I can hear him already. Oh, it's so I'm annoying. Say, just blame me. It's fine. Just blame me. Well, he'll buy it. I'm the idiot fuck up, right? That's true. Exactly. I'm going to agree with me. Yeah, there you go. See? Much better. What was that noise? I think she Guys. married the wrong brother. Hello. My CEO gave me that. And unless you want to dig up his fucking corpse, he's not going to give me another well, why one. Why don't we get an actual dishwasher? Oh, here we go again. Then you won't be on my ass anytime there's a spot on a fork. Excuse me? If we could even afford a dishwasher. It is just a glass. It was important to me, Javi. A glass? We don't see your ass for a year. A year. Then when your life goes to shit, we're expected to drop everything and roll out the red carpet. All for Prince Javi. And now you're gonna start telling me how to talk to my wife? This isn't about him. Really? 
He's the one standing right there judging me for something he doesn't understand. You don't know him like I do. Always judging everyone, except himself. You know what? You're right. It's none of my business. No, it's not. I'm sorry about the glass. Really. It's fine. It was an accident. Don't worry, I can handle him. He's just in a mood. You naughty boy! Trust me. Don't you I'm talk to me like that! <laughs> Jeez. What's telling him off gonna do? Alright, let's throw him back at the junkyard. <laughs> Post explosion. And. Bombas. Hey, hey, take it easy. What happened? They got away. Oh, God. Mariana. She got one right between the eyes, didn't she? I already dug a grave for her. I'll cleanse straight to the point. Thank you. No messing with her. <laughs> so I assume because like she was shot between the eyes, then um, you can't come back as a zombie, right? Not that she's been bitten, of course. She hasn't been bitten, has she? So, she wouldn't come back anyway. Pretty big grave there, though, Clem. You were uh, digging a grave for two. You're going to push me in there and uh, kill me? Mm. You deserve so much better than this. <laughs> It wasn't supposed to go like this. Javi, thank you for staying. I think you probably saved my life. Um, I should have gone with them. No, we fought. We slowed them down. And now they'll come back for us, right? I... I don't know. Maybe. Hey, hang on a sec. Yeah, let's she put the cassette player on with us. It's all my fault. I didn't give you the batteries. Maybe if I'd have given you the batteries, you wouldn't have taken one between the eyes. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I never found you those candy bars. I did. Get your candy bar though. I told Clem not to take it. So much more life. Wow, three three scoops and she's near enough covered up. You should have been be some, one uh, than me. He must be hauling some serious someday. dirt. Someday far away. <laughs> He should be like a professional grave digger, like seriously. Or shovels, and the grave is full. That's some serious dedication you did right there. Everything you possibly... Well, okay, technically. But if he fills a grave that quickly, surely he would dig a grave that quickly as well, right? They're one of their guys. I 
Uh, an upside down too. The other guys had this too. Oh shit. What? Well, what's wrong? Clem knows what Clem. it is. I've run into these guys before. Who are they? <laughs> Please. They call themselves the New Frontier. They used to be decent people. She said it. Now they're she said the title. Else. She said it. <laughs> this brand they have. It's like an initiation thing. I was kind of stuck in their camp for a while. Not by choice. It was bad. I'm lucky to be alive. You know, what do you mean stuck? What do you mean stuck? Were you a prisoner? I got out. That's all that matters. You think they've got AJ? They left one of their cars behind. That's something at least. Good. Just like you always wanted. I can take you back to Prescott, make sure your family's okay. But then I'm hitting the road. Um, yeah, stay with us, Clem. You stay with us. Let's just get back to Prescott. I think that's what she wanted. You could tell by her reaction there. If she wants deep down to stay with her, stay with him. <laughs> Stuck in a washing machine. The bridge is on sale. Uh, thank you. I have enough games to play. I don't need to buy any more at the minute. That's what I found out. Prescott's been ransacked. You're back. How's Kate? Uh, she just came out of surgery. Eleanor's still with her. You best get over to the infirmary. Yeah, she's uh, very elusive around. So she doesn't give a lot away, does she? She asked for you. You know. Please, please just tell me how she's doing. Well, she came through the surgery as well as could be expected. Those bastards did her one favor. Striders? Any lower, that mean? bullet would have torn her stomach full? lining as well. Your boy Gabe, he seems really fierce. He wanted to help so badly. He practically forced me to let him stay. That's Gabe. But she was bleeding so much he got overwhelmed. So when's she going to be up on her feet again? She's stable. For now. But she's still bleeding inside. I don't want to lie to you. It's probably just a matter of time. Uh oh. I... Oh yeah, okay. okay. I wish I could do more. So you're just giving up? Not at all. I'm just saying. There's nothing else I can do right now. I'm sorry, Javi. I'm going to get cleaned up. You may want to find Gabe. He looked pretty upset when he left. This isn't going to make him feel any better. Still. I'll track him down. All right, so could be on the verge of uh, losing somebody else. I know Trip drove like hell to get Kate back here. How's she doing? Not great. As well as can be expected. Yeah, considering. Maybe if they uh, you should have come back. Had a bit of uh, better infirmary Your setup. Family, you know, they needed you. Rather than being out there. Yeah, they were in good hands. What you did, I'm grateful. Doesn't look, the infirmary doesn't look like the most sterile of places. Let's be honest. Instead of me, it's a hell of a situation. Just know, I'm praying for you. All of you. And whatever happens, you all are welcome to stick around in Prescott. If that's what you want. Nobody's going to force you, but 
We'd be glad to have you all here. Not gonna make a decision like that without talking to Kate, so... I'd rather check in with her when she's feeling better, you know? Sure thing. Let the lady weigh in first. Uh, what we got over there? Water bottle. Free sample. Well, it looks so shifty. Like the whole the sign says free sample. And he just looks so uncomfortable for like taking that from there. Flew in a plane just like this to a baseball game in Arkansas once. Lifetime ago. Hmm. Doesn't look super sturdy. Yeah, no, I, I, I saw your uh, other Steam message, Deathwish. Thank you. I haven't pulled it down yet, though. Hey, have you seen a kid come through here? Blood all over his hands. Dark look on his face. Headed off that way, without saying a word. If I were you, I'd give him some space. Hm, just my advice. One parent to another. Mm. He's had a really bad day. Can't let him go off by himself. Not right now. Sorry to hear that. That blood. I take it that wasn't his. His stepmom's. You gotta stay strong for her. Do whatever it takes. Know if my friends seen one in the same situation, I'd fight like hell. Anything we can do to help you out, just let me know. I uh, appreciate that. Your boy stomped off towards the front gate. I don't think he's uh, reinforcing the gate. I think he's reinforcing it to keep Clem out after the trouble she caused in his bar. <laughs> oh. Gabe? Gabe, come on. Look at me. Was Clem, like, driven off then? Or is she just sat in the car waiting for us? Buried her. It was peaceful. How could it have been peaceful? I know how much you miss her, Gabe. I miss her too. And Kate, she needed me during her surgery. She needed my help. I just ran away yeah. like a stupid little kid. Uh, you stayed long enough to do some. Thing is, though, I think like. It's quite awkward for like like this this conversation here like although he's a teenager and he's grown up um because of all the everything that's going on i think like he's missed like so much of those like key sort of interactions and like life skills and actual sort of development that a normal person would have so i think like from his character point of view he doesn't really know how to behave and express his emotions properly it's my opinion anyway and because of that i'm proud of you you were there for her as much as you could be it doesn't count also i'm done some feeling DVD this for, you for my chair feeling squeaky powerless i can't be some helpless little boy anymore i need to be a man just like my dad was he knew how men were supposed to act yes. you're already a man some encouragement i'm not but at least I know it now. Next time, I'm not gonna sit back and watch. I'm gonna do something. I have to. Listen, Gabe. It's like he's like been this whole protected kid who hasn't had to deal with anything. And all of a sudden, a load of like shit's gone down in front of him, and he's like, "Oh my god, what was I meant to do? I'm, I don't know how to deal with this." Uh, and now he's just gonna go like full force into everything going forward, which. Isn't particularly the best way of going about stuff, I'll be honest. Uh oh. Shit. Get inside! Now! This is the new frontier.
Yeah. Totally agree. We might have to leave. Make sure Kate's ready. You can count on me. Oh, Clem's inside. I thought you kicked her ass out. Right, so here, here's like the the two IQ play here, right? There's these the the new frontier have turned up, obviously looking for Javi and Clem, and then they go up to the top on guns where they can clearly see them. Now, surely the the one thousand IQ play here would have been for them to go and hide away somewhere where they're not going to have been seen, right? Just sort of putting that out there. Knock, knock. Anyone home? Also, why they like got a truck full of zombies? He was one of the men at the junkyard. These are those freaks that brand themselves. I wish we hadn't had to come all the way out here, but unfortunately, Badger here says you attacked his man. He says you fired on him. Took out a lot of our people. Bullshit. If anything, they attacked us. Oh, please. We were just defending ourselves. You know what you did. How many of my friends died because of you, huh? Sounds like a bunch of he said, she said shit to me. Well, what the fuck do you want? An apology? What I really want is for my dead buddies to be alive again. But I don't think that's too likely, is it? He needs to come with us. Answer to justice. Accept his punishment. Men have got to have laws. Otherwise, we're no better than the animals. Go fuck yourselves. You're not getting shit from us. That gate ain't bulletproof. Don't make me prove it. Fact of the matter is, you stole from us. You killed some of us. Give it up now and get down here. I think they need a little incentive. <laughs> Fressy! You hurt her, I'll kill you. Whoa. You didn't tell me you had a hostage. It's gonna be okay, baby. I love you, I'm baby. All right, baby. Just, just give them what they want. There's no reason this has to get ugly. But we ain't leaving without what we came for. She's innocent in this. You don't have to drag her into our fight. I don't have to. But I kind of want to. And how does that make you any better? Oh my god! Now get your ass down oh god, here, or please. I cut off the rest of them. What the hell are you doing? Hobby, please, man. Just, just go with him. You got to. He'll kill Francine. Nobody's giving in to them. We should start shooting. No fucking way. He'll kill Francine. He might kill her in the way. Should we just go for it? How many airboats do you have for us? <laughs> go again. 17,000. Uh, 17,368. Alright, let's just uh Ed, we gotta risk it. No, uh uh, no way. Uh, let's let's try and let, let's go down. Fire while she's down go down. It's cool. I'm coming out. I'm all yours. <sighs> Thank you. I don't know, man. Me neither. Just have my back. Good man. Let's lock him in the truck and get the hell out of here. I don't want to wait that long. Jesus Christ. Come on. I want to see him pay for what he did. We had a deal. You asked for me to come down, and I did. Yeah? Well, fuck the deal. <laughs> the fuck? That's why you abide by your deal. <laughs> Shit! Francine, what? 
No! Frosty! Oh, that's full out war. Oh, what the fuck? We don't have the go ahead! No, fuck you! Fuck your go ahead! Ram the fucking gate! It's sort of like what we were talking about last night, though. You'd think like these sorts of situations Jesus would bring Christ. people together rather in instead because of people's greed and people's own agendas and incentives. They kind of um, actually tears people apart. We got a code red. I'll have a code red if I don't get up. I'll have a big code red. Fucking tear gas! I have to find Kate and Gabe. Can you help us? Go, man! I'll hold these assholes off! Hence while we'll be like our own frickin' exterminators, given half the chance. Sped through there, didn't they? I thought that was like the freaking the DeLorean from Back to the Future, the speed of that comes through. Head east. We'll catch up. Well, looks like Prescott screwed. Where's Clem? Where's Clem? Don't leave her behind. Long ass intro. Yes, Clem. Yikes. The whole thing's the whole place going to shit. How to annihilate a population in 30 seconds, right here. It's not good. Are they following us? Somebody is. The other car. Looks like we're okay. Yeah, it's like a long episode intro to like the episode. I wasn't expecting to like to see like the opening credits and things. Eleanor, thank God. I can't believe it. All of our friends, all those people. Oh, Conrad. I'm sorry, Conrad. You're sorry? You're sorry? You're the reason they came to Prescott in the first place. Yeah, but I'm also the... because of you. Yeah, but I also made the decision to go down there and face them in exchange for her. So, you know, wind your neck in a bit, lad. Conrad? Easy, buddy. This wasn't his fault. Bullshit. Francine, Prescott, all because this washed up cheat walked through our gates. I should have known it the second I looked at you. You ain't gonna stand up for nobody but your own. Hey, 
That's not fair. I don't care what you or anyone else thinks. I know what happened. Calm down, Conrad. Please. All I know is, if it wasn't for him... Back oh. the fuck up! Now! Babe, I ain't taking no shit from no one. Put the gun down, Gabe. Come on, put it down. Where you can get that away. from? Take it easy, son. Gabe, no. This isn't necessary. What are you talking about? Y yes, it is. I told you. I get that you're trying to help, but this isn't how you do it. Just do it already. I don't even care anymore. Just put it down, Gabe. Come on, kid. You kill an unarmed man, you'll regret it for the rest of your life. You hear me? Yeah, I, I used to have that on my PlayStation 2, Deathwish. It's a great game. Fuck me. Gabe! Let him I'm not go. sure I ever finished it, though. Just I got towards to the end, out. but I don't think I ever finished it. <laughs> we have to go back. We have to bury her. I wish we could, but Prescott's overrun. We can't go back. Well, we're not safe here either. What about Richmond? I've heard there's a community there. If it's true, they'll have food, walls, maybe even a hospital. All I want is to find the motherfuckers who did this. They took my home. They took my... God damn it! The one thing we all need is a place to call home. Maybe Richmond can be that place. Richmond? Huh. It's something, at least. <sighs> yeah. Fuck it. Let's go. That's a spirit, man. Hey, Gabe. Oh. Hey, you okay? Huh. Maybe they'll hit it off. Hope so. Might be good for them both. They need someone their own age they can talk to. Come on, guys. We got a long drive ahead of us. In a good way or a bad way, Deathwish? Oh, wow. In a bad way. In a big bad way. Jeez. Overwhelmingly negative. Is it a remake then? Huh. Wow. That's uh not good, does it? I haven't patched it February? February. Like twenty it normally retails at thirty-five. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh yeah, that was uh, oh, man. I don't not even sure I like the look of the whatever they've done to it either. To me, like looking at these screenshots, it doesn't look as as cartoony as the original, which is like one of the like original selling points and what I loved about the original. So uh, yeah, that's a real shame. That is a real shame. What can I do for you here? 
I just, I feel like I'm burning up. <laughs> and I'm dying of thirst. <laughs> oh, good job I got a bottle of water. Tastes good. It was only a free sample. Thirsty isn't good. How's her forehead feel? Uh, hot. Hot. Fuck. It's probably sepsis. The sooner we get to Richmond, the better. Oh, oh god damn it. Oh, it really hurts. <laughs> I can't lose you. Not now. And. I don't want to leave you, but... Javi, we both know what's coming. Kane. We do. And this is gonna sound fucked up, but... Maybe this is my chance for... Christ. I don't know. A graceful exit. Not many people get those. You can't talk that way. Hey. It's my deathbed. Not yet, Just think about all that's happened. Mariana died. I couldn't stop it. And Gabe, I heard what happened when we stopped. Isn't it obvious? Look, he might be turning into David. He might be turning into you. He's not that sweet little boy I first met. But maybe this is better. Gabe is doing just fine, Kate. You know what he told me? That he wants to be a man. Wants to step up. He'll see. He's gonna be stronger than both of us. Oh, maybe. I don't know. All I care about is him becoming who he needs to be. And it's gonna be on you to make sure that happens. Did you the original? Yeah, man. See, look, that's so much better. That looks like loads better than the frickin... Yeah. That's what I remember, more of a comic book style. There's, the, the, from the images I saw on the, that remake, there's just... I don't know, they just like lost the whole... They seem to have like lost the whole cartooniness of it. I wonder how human psychology situations that are in, in the game. It's obvious that things are in bad shape, but something is blinding people's eyes from it. Everyone's having a hard time, but people think that they are the only ones who have hard times. Well, yeah, but I think um, they're probably accepting of like the, the general situation, but obviously when something else happens, then obviously they're, they, they feel like that is like their most dire time. Is the, is the way I kind of see that, Mika. You know, nothing else really matters, and everybody else is having like a much better time when it comes around to it, so... No, ma'am. I'm not buying this I'm dying shit. It's on both of us. You're buying it whether you want to or not. Oh! Hey, careful. Want to study on there? Sorry. You should get some rest, Kate. We all should. Really. With pleasure. <sighs> Parents just love pretending the rest of us can't hear. I wouldn't know. On our way to you, Deathwish. Richmond, here we come. <laughs> Great. What now? I've got some bad news. We don't have time for more bullshit. Well, the bullshit found us anyway. Well, we got a bunch of cars clogging the underpass. Too many to drive through. We're gonna need to move some of them out of the way. <sighs> hey, I'm coming too. I'll stay with Kate and keep a lookout. Yell at us if anything happens. Awfully convenient the pass is blocked like this. Not convenient at all if you ask me. 
Well, that was quick. She's got a mean look in her eye, hasn't she? Right there. We should be good. Come on. Let's get to work and clear it out. I said we're, we're uh, on our way to you, Deathwish. We're on a, making our way to Richmond. Jesus. How the hell are we going to get that out of the way? I don't see any tow trucks. How Trip's are we doing? a big guy. I'm sure he can push it. Eh, Conrad doesn't look too good over there. Tell me about it. He's a good man, Javi. Known him a long time. This is just a dark day for him. Yeah. Keep an eye on him for me, all right? How's Kate going to we'll try and push She's that car? on. We're almost there. Let me know if anything changes. I will. And still pissed at us. You good? Nah, man. I'm not good. I know. Let's just get this shit over with and get to Richmond. Shoot him. Anything in the trunk? And that was American, wasn't it? Anything in the trunk? Nothing in the boot. Those might come in handy. Most surgeons have time. I could see that I am not the only one. It makes me sensitive to the struggles as well. I think, though, I think when there's so much else going on in the world, though, Mika, it's, it's a whole different kind of fish. Saw Clementine talking back there. So? Everybody else is kind of already in like such a world of like struggle and hurt. And then obviously when something else happens and piles on top of that, it certainly makes, you know, you sort of, your world sort of close in and focus on just you. And you kind of feel like, you, you know, you're the only one that's going through that much of a dire situation, I think. I think it's different like than a real, when like there's this whole apocalypse going on, I think it's probably different from like a real life situation. Uh, it's just my opinion, though. We were just talking. But I totally see where you're coming from as well. She seems pretty cool. Uh huh. I've, you know, since I had my little thing um, end of last year, beginning of this, um, when I had like my real down point, um, and I was really struggling, I kind of it opened my up to, um, it opened my eyes up to like, you know, how I'd been feeling, and how easy it was to sort of get over it. And that kind of made me more aware to kind of like promote to other people, you know what, let's sort of like, you're having a bad time, you know, I've been there, I've done that, and, you know, I can help you through it. And, you know, you just you know, open up to me, talk about it, because that was my biggest thing. I didn't open up to anybody, and I was just bottling up, bottling up, bottling up, um, until it just came to a head, and I just kind of like popped kind of thing. Um, but yeah, for me, going through those sorts of situations like you say, sort of opens my eyes up to like how other people are feeling and how other people deal with it and kind of helps me to then help them almost rather than sort of, you know, close in. Does that make sense? Hope so. What's up? It's complicated. I had a, a friend. He had a wife, a son. He was really protective. Having people is nice. But well, yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of people, you know, end. it's a similar sort of, not like to that extremes, but yeah, I can totally understand um, what you mean and where you're coming from there, Mika. Cause they, you know, a lot of people have gone through a lot of pain, a lot of hurt during COVID, and, you know, we've lost people. Um, 
like a lot earlier than we probably would have done you know uh, people around the world and it's it's, it's fair to say covid has affected everybody around the world so yeah I mean, there's, there's similarities definitely never think otherwise What's behind the garage door? I wonder. Might be worth checking. Get your gun ready. Oh, look at that. Convenient tow truck. With a zombie, of course. Get squashed. And he's also got a wrench. A monkey wrench. Didn't you have something else there as well? Am I not allowed to... Not allowed to take that. We need to power it somehow. Well, that's a good job I got some jump leads in, doesn't it? Pop the hood. You better not mess up my baby here. That'll do. Hope you connected those in the right order, sir. There's plenty of cable to reach the wreckage, but I need to release it first. Now I can pull out the cable. Hopefully that'll hold. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Well, it's gonna go wrong, isn't it? To be honest. Hey, there we go. Yikes! A bit noisy. I think we're set. We good? Be ready to move once the wreck is clear. We should be right behind you. We'll do. Yep. Yeah. That's woken the horde. Get the walkers! Yes, one of the reasons I kind of like, I, I really like playing these because it really does sort of open up discussions and yeah, like you say, it, it causes like thought-provoking moments. Um, you know, it's just nice to hear sort of like my thoughts, like portraying them to you and obviously hearing your thoughts back to me. So uh, yeah, I do like enjoy these sort of games and these streams. Do I really need three bullets? Eleanor, now! Go, go, go! Just drive! Get it to Richmond! We're right behind you! They're through! Let's go! I'm empty. On the roof. Get up there, Gabe. Go. What? Give me a chance to press the freaking button. Jeez. <laughs> Thanks. Shit! Just like you didn't press it in a nanosecond. You're dead. We got bigger problems here! <laughs> the roof! Go! Get out of here with that death count, Atom. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? Hope you're well. Get up there, Gabe! Go!
Ow. There's that tinnitus. I can relate, dude. Seriously. Not fun. Come on. That's a lot of zombies. God damn it! I knew this place didn't feel right. What the hell are we gonna do now? Wait it we out. We have to come up with some kind of plan. We wait it out. Wait till these things move on. That could take days. We'll be dead by then. Great. This is just fucking great. What the hell are we gonna do? Calm down. Calm down? I'm not gonna fucking calm down. Eleanor's out there alone right now. We wouldn't even be in this mess if it wasn't for you. That's not true. Oh. Fuck you, Conrad. Whoa, 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 stop. There's somebody over there. What? Where? Shit. I see Everybody get down. Wait, was this all a trap? Keep your heads down. Guy could have a rifle. Whoever you are, you should know we've got guns and we're prepared to use them. What the hell? He's gone. Everyone stay here and keep behind cover. Can't you see like the little ladder running up the side of the building? Be careful. Look like a ladder. It was that metal support beam instead. No, there you go, look. Interesting. What's he up to? I'm gonna need you to turn around for me. Slowly. Did you hear me? It's not there. So it's just a coat and this freaking hat. The hell? Guns at your head now, dude. That thing's not a toy. Drop it, or you might hurt yourself. Now then, I'm not gonna shoot. Not unless you make me. I just want to talk. You got me? Just want to have a word. So talk. Okay then. You, the two guys there, the kids, the women in the car, I saw you split up. I overheard that little argument just now. Your friends over there aren't going to shoot me, right? You folks have your shit together? If you're some kind of broken tribe, then let me know now. They're good people. They've lost a lot. Sure. We all have. Recently. Ah, fresh wounds. That makes sense. You're going to Richmond. That tells me you got something to do with what's going on down there. Question is, whose side are you on? Look, man, I don't know what you're... Let's say I'm dead. I didn't start pressing quick enough. Don't move. Well, you see one of them? Hey, man, what do you mean by them? Who's them? You know what I'm talking about. The new frontier. What? No, I'm not with those guys. You got this backwards. Avi, this guy's full of donkey shit. Do you want to let me talk? I don't think he's with those guys. Look, I'm telling you. 
I'm on my way to Richmond, just like you. I lost touch with some good people there when the New Frontier took over. What did you say? The New Frontier? They took uh -oh. over Richmond? Don't tell me you didn't know that. Nope. Fuck. Oh, God. Eleanor and Kate. They're headed right to the middle of those assholes. At least now we got an excuse to go after those motherfuckers. We need to go even. now. No fucking shit we need to go. You're the one who's been skulking around. You got any ideas? There's an old train tunnel that runs under the James River. From what I hear, it should be a straight shot into Richmond. A train tunnel. I Tunnel's could lead you guys there. But since uh, a hobby here said you're good people and all, maybe you could lower those guns first. Lower than my ass? We're gonna tie you up and make sure your story checks out. That's really not necessary. Lower your guns. Javi, man, don't. Do you trust me or not? Thank you. Ready? This way. Hey. What Five million miles you? from Richmond. Sorry, forgot to introduce myself. It's Paul, but my friends call me Jesus. So, uh, are you, is this you? Is this you in the story, Deathwish? Is this what you look like in real life? <laughs> yeah, she's looking a bit shifty, isn't she, Mika? I think she's had some running or some real bad experience with them. And I think we're going to find out a little bit more now in this uh, this flashback by the looks of it. Do we get to call you Jesus now, Deathwish? I don't know. Like somebody's hidey hole. Don't worry. It's gonna be okay. You really don't want to have to deal with a baby when you've got like zombies chasing you because you know they're gonna scream their ass off and give you away. Back to the shelf, Glenn. Oh, come on. See, I told you, kids, every time. Right. Never take a kid to a zombie apocalypse. Life lesson. No, you're hungry. Uh, sing him a song. We're gonna wait for them to go. And then we're gonna find you some dinner. Hopefully, <laughs> find us some. Parenting dinner. 101 there from Deathwish. Clearly, that's not part of the uh, Deathwish 808 hey. scholarship program. Hey, I can hear you in there. Let me in. Please. God, there's so many. Please, don't leave me out here. Uh. Oh, shit. Hey there. Hello. You can keep that thing pointed at me if it makes you feel better, but if you shoot me, you'll have to deal with all of them. Pretty big group of them out there. But it'll pass. Eventually. Stay right where you are. Don't move. Don't worry, Kill. I'm not going anywhere. Shit! I'd say we make a pretty good team. <laughs> the two of us. Well, the three of us, I mean. You and I are not a team. This is my team. Pretty small team. We could have survived without you. Yeah, well, 
I couldn't have survived without you, and I'm not too big to admit it. He's a cute kid. Mommy again, Deathwish? How did you raise two here? girls? You seem kind of young to be a mom. <laughs> what are you, 13? It's none of your business, understand? Okay, okay, relax. We were out there scouting. Nothing out of the ordinary, and then... Ordinary, and then... Chaos, and... Shit, those bastards are slow, but God damn it, when there's enough of them. I got separated from the others. God, I hope they all made it. Thought we were ready for anything. What were you scouting for? Gas? Water? Any supplies we could find, really. Sure as hell was worth it. My people are probably at the rendezvous by now. What's left of them, at least? By the way, I'm Ava. And my group, we call ourselves the New Frontier. Uh-oh. He's hungry. Hey, why don't you come with me? Meet my people. We have food, blankets, bottled water. Come on. Dinner's on me. Groups aren't really my thing. No woman is an island. Have it your way. But you did me a solid here. I won't forget it next time we cross paths. There is no next time. We'll see. The world does work in mysterious ways. The portal just fall in now. So that's how uh, she got introduced to the new frontier. Obviously, that's all we're going to find out on that uh, for now. These tunnels were abandoned decades ago. Uh, I don't think I do own the final season. Here's Mike? No, I don't. Not at the moment, anyway. Javi, I need to talk to you. About? Look, I appreciate you keeping quiet about me in the New Frontier. But what I told you earlier... It's not the whole truth. I wasn't their prisoner. I was... I was one oh of them. Oh my goodness. I should have told you sooner. I... I really should have. You were with those monsters? They're not all like that. I'm not asking you to forgive me. But you have to understand. I had nobody. This this sort of this this sort of continues to play into the hands then that they've got AJ. Or she's left AJ with them at least. I was all alone. And I thought I didn't need them. But they were very persuasive. was a mistake and so was not telling you about it tell me you're not still one of them no way believe me i just had to explain because if they're really in control in richmond i can't let them see me i just can't so when we reach the other side of this tunnel i'm leaving y'all planning on joining us Shh. Ben's gonna do a runner. You all hear that? How you doing, Mike? Though, hope you're well, buddy. Welcome, you welcome. <laughs> They're everywhere. Fuck. They are. Keep sharp. Watch out. Harvey, <laughs> help! Gabe's like, I want to be a man, but I can't shoot a gun. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Has he not got a gun in his hand anymore? We'll take that. Take him out. Thanks. I. Fuck is Almighty Conrad. Now every walker in the fucking county is gonna be heading this way. Come on. 
Follow me. There are. The, the mouse like movement is like really slow on this game. No one ever mentioned a train in the way. Better find a way around it. We're fucking dead. Maybe we could just go through. Well, does it open? We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We can go it. through it. Come on. Daylight's ahead. Thank fucking God. Let's go. I can't have those walkers following us. Javi and I will block the door. You guys go ahead and make sure it's clear. Make it fast. We'll be right ahead up. I'm staying here. Hold the door shut until I can find something to barricade it with. Hurry! Oh my God. Ah, shit! I'm gonna have to break this thing off. Put your back into it, man. Almost here. Put your back into it. Pull it. Jeez. Javi! I can't. There's too many. Help! Watch that through. Now! Okay, let's go. We gotta. I wouldn't touch that gun, girl. You either, cowboy. What the hell are you doing? I heard you too. You think I'm stupid? Finish your little story. Now. We... we need to keep moving. No, you need to talk. Put the gun down, Conrad. Not until she rolls up her sleeve. <laughs> what? Why? Because she's I one of them. You're one of them? You're goddamn right she is. What other bullshit did you shove down our throats, huh? She has a right to her secrets, like you have a right to yours. Secrets isn't the point. You're missing the bigger picture, son. Don't you see? We bring her to rich. Oh, I'm like, no worries, buddy. Appreciate want. that. Thank you very Medical much. Help for Kate. For the rest She's our bargaining chip. They won't bargain with you. You don't know them. Won't know until we try. She's not a bargaining chip. She's a friend. Oh, I'm sure after less than a day, you two are just soulmates. How's that for an answer? Go to hell, Conrad. I'm not doing this. If you want to shoot me, shoot me. How about I shoot your little boyfriend here instead? Then don't let her walk this through that door. Crazy. Shoot Nobody it. has to shoot anybody. Must request an addition. Just tell Clem this is how it's got to be. And then we all step into the sunshine. Come on, man. Be reasonable. This helps both of us. I'm just going to go. Don't take another step. Um... Honey, please. You know this will work. Holy shit. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my. You two should go. What about you? I'll find my own way. Gotta stick up for Clem. He's dead. He sure is. God. It just happened so fast. We're moving on, Gabriel. Now. Let's right go. to man up. It's time to man up. Let's go. Yeah, wow. Conrad was already sort of like in a weird place there, wasn't he? Let's be honest. Where's Conrad? Did he not make it out? He's... He's gone. He didn't make it up. I'm sorry. So that's it? He just... Oh, man. Conrad! The more you know. Or the less you know, sorry. Shit! Fuck! Try to stay quiet. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. Damn it, Conrad. And the girl, where is she? Or should we assume the worst? She ran off. I just don't know what the hell is going on anymore. God, what a shit show. This isn't what any of us wanted. But right now, we need to find Kate and Eleanor. I'm straight. You're right. I just wish... The gates are this way. If your people are here, 
That's where they would have ended up. Why is it so quiet? Thought there'd be New Frontier marching in the streets and shit. Practicing on walkers or... Whatever the fuck they do. Oh, maybe they're all on their lunch break. <sighs> I don't like this. I don't like any of it. Maybe she's like been through enough and she doesn't want to see anybody else suffer sort of thing. So she just wants to like... Ah, fuck. Like, see it out on her own almost, maybe. I don't maybe. think so. Can you see anything, Harvey? What are they doing? I think we need to understand more, though, of like what's what went on between Clem and the New Frontier. Because obviously something went on more than we know at the moment. And because um, obviously she like left them. She like went and joined them for a, a, a brief period. And then something's obviously happened, which we don't know what. So obviously, till we get further into the story, we're not going to have any answers on that. I'm being. That's their car. Hey, keep it down. Kate? Kate, can you hear me? No, she's still Kate, alive. talk to me. Say something. Javi? Yes? Could really use something to take the edge off right about now. I think you smoked it all. Kate! Are you... are you okay? Come here. Where's Eleanor? She... she went ahead to get help. She hasn't come back. Damn it. They must have got her. Jesus, how far is it to their compound? Not too much farther now. A couple blocks at most. Gabe, help me lift her up. <laughs> Babe, actually help you though? I'm thinking Kate's not going to make it much longer. So it's time we walk up to their front door and say hello. All right, fine. Here we go. It's going to be the end, isn't it? There it is. New Richmond. We're here, Kate. I'm gonna get you inside, okay? Javi? If they can save me, how about you and me finally take that trip to Norway? The Northern Lights. Remember? Sky lit up all green and purple. As long as we make some time to hit the slopes, I'm in. It's sort of, it's it's that like weird conversation, isn't it? Like when, when somebody, it's almost like somebody knows like the end is here for them and they're like, you start like making pleasantries and talking about stuff that you really want to do and you kind of start to live in a bit of a fantasy world. It's, yeah, it's not looking good for Kate, is it? Let's be honest. Jesus, there's a solid possibility this isn't going to go our way. If you want to stay behind, I wouldn't blame you. Hey, this is where I was going in the first place. Where is everybody there? Hey! You again? You must have some kind of death wish. She needs medical help. And you have one of our people. Uh-huh. What's your point? After what you did to our people? I'm not inclined to help any of you. I am begging you, please help us. If we don't get her to a hospital, she'll die. Then I guess she's gonna die. It was your men that shot her. Your bullets. You owe it to us to help now. We don't owe you shit. It's got nothing to do with me. Your people, your problems. She dies? I'm holding you personally responsible. Just cause you say something doesn't make it so. Please, Kate's dying. She needs help. It's not like I don't have a heart, okay? 
But your people started this whole fucking thing in the first place. Let's not forget what you did at Prescott. What you did to our home. Prescott, right. That whole situation was a damn mess. <sighs> it happened. It's over. Please, I am begging you, just let us in. Now, all of you, lower your weapons. Might be a good idea to play along here, at least for now. You put him down, I'll see that as an expression of good faith. Nice and easy. Or else this is gonna end bad. Everybody, put him down. Trip, please. You're the boss. Yeah, okay. Hands behind your heads, all of you. We let him do this, it's over. We can't give him another inch. No. Guess we're doing this the hard way, then. What the hell's going on out here? They said they weren't here to hurt anybody, so I was trying to see if they... Oh, my God. His brother? Dad? Oh my god. I was not expecting that. Again though, we didn't see what happened to them when they went to when they went to the hospital. We just assumed cuz didn't he get like he got scratched or something, didn't he? I'm trying to remember what happened at the beginning. I'm sure he got scratched by somebody. Um and then you don't actually see what happened, but you just assumed from the first episode that because he'd done that, he turned into a zombie and he was dead. Wow, that was, uh, that was something. I did not see that coming. Not see that coming at all. But clearly, though, you can kind of see, like, a bit of friction there between, like, what I'm going to, like, call, like, the foot soldiers of the, uh, the New Frontier. Like, they're all, like, trying to, oh, yeah, we're the bigger people. You're not coming in, blah, blah, blah. And then he sort of walks out, and he's obviously some sort of authoritative figure. And he's just like, what's going on here? Shut it all down. Blah, 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 blah. And she wants to come out and have a discussion with people, so... Wow, yeah. That is quite interesting. But then at the same time, I said that, like about him like being quite lenient and wanting to talk to people and stuff. Um, what? Why is Clem so reluctant to go and see them? And why is Clem so reluctant for them to see her? I, st I, I, I think personally, it, it's, it all hinges on this whole AJ thing. What has happened to AJ did she just like dump him and run? Is there more to it than that? Ah, Deathwish with the 100. Thank you very much, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But, uh, yeah. The next episode is certainly going to be a little bit spicy, as they say. But, uh, yeah. For everybody watching on YouTube, thank you very much. That is going to bring us to the end. Deathwish with another 100 bits, you absolute legend. Thank you very much. Um, that's going to bring us to the end of uh, this video for um, part number two. We'll be back real soon with part number three, so make sure you check out those sub boxes. Deathwish with yet another 200 bits. The man is on an absolute mission. What an absolute legend. Guys, thank you very much. Until next time, though, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Take care. Happy gaming. Deathwish, you madman.